crack up with you. Ain't you're making pretty good money, bud. Yeah, but money ain't everything. You know anything that'll take its place? No, but we won't be making so much money if our men don't stop going to town every Saturday and getting drunk and beat up in old Taylor's saloon. Get plumb enough. I know a lot of people like to be bored that way. Not me. I crave action and excitement. I crave food. How about that breakfast? Come on right up. Hey, Fred. Back settled. When I lose my chest with black jacket, it's time for a chain of chainers. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Where are you going, Fred? I'm going to town with the boys. The way I feel right now, I'm going to set them an example of... I'll shame them into staying sober. I'll go right along with you, boy. Come Move on. over. Let's go. Mighty careless shooting, Miss Lane. You might have hurt somebody. I meant to, and there's another one of them back there. man ran away, too. Who were they? A couple of would-be bad men I've seen hanging around town. Uh, probably some old man Taylor's gang. That's where all the trouble comes from. Did they do any damage? No, I think they're trying to scare us out. We're buying this place from Horace Black, the lawyer. I wouldn't put it past him to be behind it. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I always had an idea that Black was square. Then you don't know him very well. Where's your brother? In town, like everybody else, spending what little money we have on drinking and gambling. You see? You see? Old man Taylor again. Uh, maybe him and lawyer Blacker in cahoots. I tell you, that Taylor place has got to be run out of business. Figuring you know, on drinking a drive, bud? Well, that's one way. But it'd be a whole lot quicker to buy it and give it away. If you expect trouble in this lane, why don't you notify the sheriff? I can handle it. What time can I? Don't, don't mention it. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, next time you do it in shooting, you call your shot. I ain't had time to look yet, but uh, I think I'm packing some of your lead. <laughs> <laughs> if you need any help, you know where to find it. Thanks. Black, how's, uh, how's the law business? Oh, fair. Did I hear a rumor you'd like to sell your mine? <laughs> nah, if you did, it's wrong. Well, if you ever want to sell, give me first chance. I didn't know that you were in that business. Well, I'm not, but I might have a client who would be interested. Hey, uh, what kind of devil talk is that? He says he wants to buy and yet he ain't in that business. Lawyers always talk that way, Fudge. Hey, uh, you suppose that's why we pay them lawyers to find out what they mean? That's right. Now, you remember that. <laughs> hey, uh, where's Taylor? Not here. I didn't ask you where he's not. I asked you where he is. I don't know where he is. I'm not worried. What do you have? Food. You know where to get the food.
There. A couple of hungry customers. How about a little service? You'll get it when you drop the bread in here not one minute before. Oh, now, that's no way to treat a paying customer. No? Then how do you like this? I'd like to buy this place so I could fire that kitchen gopher. Not getting any ideas, are you, Fudge? Well, it'll be a lot of fun to run a place like this. I could get even with a lot of people I know. Well, I can dream, can't I? What luck? Oh, uh, none at all. Why? Oh, I don't like this kind of business. In the first place, I don't like to fight a woman. Especially a good-looking one. And then when said woman starts to throw a lot of lead, well, it's just too much for me, that's all. I told you to frighten her, not fight her. I want that lame spread, and I intend to have it. Are you sure it's the ranch you're interested in? Or the girl? Another remark like that, and I'll kill you. Oh, don't get sore. I, I was only kidding. I don't like that kind of humor. Let's get on with the tailor job tonight. When I get through with him, he'd be glad to give his place away. Uh, ain't like homemade grub, but at least I didn't have to cook it. <laughs> the vittles ain't nothing like they used to be when I was around here handling the skillet. <laughs> what do you know about cooking, Webfoot? The name is Webb, and you know it. Now listen, stop calling me Webfoot. Well, you're hanging around on that slop water all the time. You want to be Webfoot by now. <laughs> Did you used to cook here, Webb? Well, <laughs> turn right I did. Till old Terry bought the place, and then he fetched his own cook. Hey, where is Taylor? Oh, he's out buying cartridges. You see, he expects trouble. And I expect he's right, too. I told you so. Taylor's going to shoot up our men, and we got to do something. What, for instance, bud? I don't know, but I'm going to corner that old coot as soon as he comes in and give him a piece of my mind. You better take it easy. I haven't got much to spare. Move it over, Webb. Uh -huh. Thank you. One of your guns. Three queen. That beats me. Where are you going, Lane? You all through? I'll be back. Do you really think the entrance to the lost golden bear mine is under Taylor's place? Rumor says it is. Taylor's never denied it. Well, then any price you pay Taylor for his place would be cheap. But if that's so, why don't he do something about this cell? Maybe he lacks capital or initiative. Here comes young Lane. Beat it out the back way. I don't want him to find you here. Hello, Jimmy. I want to borrow some more money, Black. Never going to get your place paid for at this rate, Jimmy. You're increasing your debt instead of reducing it. Listen, I know what I'm doing. I'll hit a lucky streak at Taylor someday, and I'll just pay off the whole thing. All right. How much do you want this time? Oh, a couple of thousand. Have a drink, Jimmy. Sure, sure. Good idea. Have a drink. Thanks. Shows up pretty soon. Nah, I'm kind of getting out of the notion of having trouble with him. Yeah, you are a fellow. Your fellow never hurt anybody. Uh, don't let him fool you. There you are, Jimmy. Find this note. Sign I owe you. That's good enough. Well, now, let's be legal about this, Jimmy. You're a businessman. Sure, business is business. <laughs> Take that home to your sister and don't waste the gambling. Listen, I'm old enough to know what I'm doing. Thanks a lot, Black. Good luck. Thanks. Black, come in here. Take a look 
that. What's well, a quit claim deed to his ranch? Notice the date on it. I can take over any time I want. Well, what are you waiting for? Well, you've got to give young Lane a reasonable time to lose that roll. Get over there and help him. All right, Black. Never mind, I ain't selling to you. You'll sell to me or 
Nobody. Hey, if anybody's gonna buy this place, it'll be me. Where will you get the money from? Out of the ground, honestly. Instead of out of the people, dishonestly, like you. Be careful with your recrimination, Mr. Jones. Or I'll take you to law. Careful with it. Now it is. It'll be all right. You get me a glass of water. Don't you think the shock might kill him? But you said you wanted to buy this place. Oh, I had ideas, but I changed my mind. No, you've just got to do it. Why? Because if you don't, I'll have to sell to Black. And when he finds out how I've been lying to him all this time, he'll kill me. Lying to him? What do you mean? Oh, oh, never mind. But you've got to buy it. You don't want to see me a corpse, do you? No. Well, I'll sell it cheap. Well, uh, I'm tempted. If I bought this place, will it kill me? Well, he needn't know anything about it till the place is yours. Then he'll be right proud of you for the bargain you bought. Hey, uh, be more fights out there, and there ain't gonna be no bargain. There won't be no more fights. You can keep orders. They'll respect you, and they'll respect you more when you're the boss. Do you think so? Why, certainly they will. Well, uh, I'd have to pay you off to do it. Well, that'll do. Now, ride out to mine and get it. And hurry up before I change my mind. You'll never get another chance like this. All right. Hey, wait a minute. You better go out the back way so Billy won't see you. I think that's a good idea. Oh, uh, honey, sleep, will you? Glad to know what you've seen, Fuzzy. Oh, I haven't seen him since the scrap. When does the next one come up? I'll let you know. You seen Fuzzy? He ain't in here. So I see. Are you two up to something? How do you mean? Well, if you don't know, I'm sure I can't tell you. The scheme didn't work out. Billy Carson mixed in. Yeah, I know. We'll get him. Yeah, when? Our time will come. Here now. Dodgy Jones has gone to his mind to get gold us to buy the Taylor place. Well, we'd better stop it. Too late. We'll get him on the way back. Take Dan along with you. Watch him. Oh, Whiskers will never know what hit him. I won't lie, even for you. My job is to guard this mine. Well, uh, you, you don't have to tell him if you don't ask it. That suits me. I'm again all unnecessary talk, like the present.
down and shut up. Good, I'll go back and check on Fletcher. I found where Fuzzy made his stand, but he's gone. I hope he hasn't been hurt. I don't think so. I think he's up to something and he's trying to avoid me. Jim, think you can ride? I think I'll be all right. Okay, I'll help you on your horse. You did? I thought they were after you. Yeah, they were, but they missed me. Now, let's get down to business. Uh, I want a contract, a legal bill of sale, and a heck of four car puzzles, and uh, all that sort of stuff. I'll give you a bill of sale as soon as I weigh the dust. I'm sure Jim will be all right. I hope you find Fuzzy. I will. <laughs> He's probably going back to the mine. Have you any idea who's causing all this trouble around you? I think so. Thanks, Roger. Don't mention it. Bye, Miss Lane. Well, there's your bill of sale. And good luck to you. She's all yours. <laughs> well, guess I'll have to do a little clean up around here now. Hey, now you can tell me what's down there. You promise you won't tell anybody? Not a soul. <laughs> you, you don't say. Now I've got to get out of here before Black finds out what I've done. He'd kill me if he knew. What ails you? I'm just worried about what Billy will do to me when he finds out what I've done. Oh, 
What if I made a mistake? I saw Fuzzy arrive with the gold dust. Old man Taylor will probably try to sneak out with it sometime after sundown. Watch out for it. We'll take care of him. When you get back, we'll go to work on Fuzzy. I guess what this place. Things are going to be different around here. Your turn, Coach. There's going to be a difference. And you think I'm going to work for an old heat goat? You got another thing coming. And you can't talk that way to your boss. You ain't my boss. I quit. I heard what he said. I heard him. Remember me? I can do it. <laughs> sure I can. Don't you believe me? Doggone, I gotta believe it. Here, take these and go in and whip up some chow. Yeah. Listen, I don't have to cook with that third thing. But here, you uh, find a bucket right over yonder. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Webfoot. <laughs> and don't call me Webfoot. I told you a hundred times my name is Webb. Hey, what am I doing? I'm the boss. Was he back? Yep, but he left again. Stay where he was going? No, but he wasn't up to no good. What do you mean? I don't mean nothing, but if my partner came sneaking back here and cleaned out the safe, I wouldn't stand here talking. Take the regular job as dealer. Fuzzy won't know the difference. Then all you boys will make some money. I always did want to get into a game where I knew the dealer. You two stand by and back up Kurt's play. I'll beat it. Kurt. Keep an eye on Dent. I think I know signs of a yellow streak in it. I've been thinking the same.
What's the matter with you? Why can't he eat that too? Well, why can't you? I ain't got no stuff. Now, keep quiet because I own this place. Are you the boss? That's right. You're the guy I've been looking oh. for. I'm Again, he better come in with his gun in front of him. 
Go on. Out of here. Hey, just in time. Just in time seems like I'm a little late. I want to talk to you, well, Fuzz. But, 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 Billy, you, you know that I always wanted to own a place like this. And that part of it's all right. It but is. You... Well, thanks, pal. I, I knew you'd understand. I, uh, hey, business is rushing. I, I got to go. Gotta... Hey, wait a minute. I want to talk to you. Hey, hey, Fuzz. I want to talk to you. Now, listen. You're not too busy to talk to your pal here. Oh, I'm your pal. Don't you remember me? Oh, 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 oh,
Forget the grub. I'll take the job. It's a deal. Huh? reason Black should want this ranch? He doesn't want the ranch, he wants Ruth. He's trying to get rid of me. That's different. You know, Lane, you played right into his hands when you fired that shot. It's a good thing you didn't kill that deputy. But you'll be in a tough spot just the same. Yeah, I know. I've been way out of line. Things will be different now if it's not too late. Well, you're on a chance to prove that there's a plot against you. That's going to be tough, especially against a smart lawyer. Things couldn't be much worse. Yeah, I know. Now I'm going on back to town, look around. A couple of angles I want to go into. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, Carson. Come here a minute. What do you want? A friend of ours is in a jam. I want your advice. Friend of ours? Who is it? Young Jimmy Lane. Just killed a law officer. Killed him? How was he killed? One in five. A bullet straight through the heart. Come here, I'll show you. Dead center. You know, Black, that gun must have been held pretty close to burn the shirt that way. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, of course. I suppose you've notified the sheriff. Uh, I hated to, but it's the only legal thing I could do. Sure, sure, being a lawyer. The sheriff will be here tomorrow, about noon. He's up here away. Uh, thanks, Mr. Black. Not at all. I get out of your way and guard your body. You don't have to stay that close. Uh, by the way, if you see Billy Carson, tell him to come in and lend me a hand. My feet are killing me. And mention to him that he steal my part. Yes. Hey, 
Bill. Come on, me a hand, will you? I'm all in. I've got time, bud. Hey, what have you got there? Come into your office, I'll tell you. Now, there's your evidence, bud. Yeah, the evidence of what? Young Lane didn't shoot the deputy. Somebody else did. Talk outside, Lane, done it. I know. That's what somebody else wants you to think. Who for it? Horace Black. This was the shirt the deputy was wearing when Young Lane shot it. See that torn shoulder there? But there's no bullet hole over the heart. Like there is in the one the dead man's wearing now. So you mean uh, Black had him killed and you're building up a case against him? That's my idea. The sheriff will be here tomorrow. Oh, don't do that. Uh, don't have Black arrested. Why not? He was trying to burn this shirt, but he's, he's guilty as well. I, I know he is. But, but Black's going to buy this place, and I, I, I got to sell it. It's making me old before my time. Yeah, you better move fast. I'll do anything. I'll get rid of this place before I go crazy. Hey, Fudd, Smith, I want you to do something for me. What? I have an idea that the man that killed the deputy killed old Taylor, too. I want you to circulate a rumor that old man Taylor's out with the lane. Yeah, but old man Taylor's dead. I know that, but I'm the only one that's sure of it. Others may have their doubts. They'll investigate. Then we'll see what happens. Now go on, do what I told you. Well, hurry up. So that's the way it is. I'm sure that Black had Taylor and the deputy killed. Looks that way. But how are we going to prove it? Ah, I planted some seeds last night and this morning. Let's take a ride, see what's grown up. Not here. I don't know where he is. Well, when he comes in, tell him I want to see him and to bring the money. What money? Yeah, well, just tell him. He, he, he'll know. That's the lane, Clay. There are two men watching us from off the side. Both of them wondering whether old Taylor's in there. They've got nothing on me. You got me wondering too. I'm gonna let one of them take me. Be back my place. Where you going, Carson? I'm going into Lane. To make Taylor buy back the place he sold my partner. <laughs> Even if old Taylor was there, which he ain't, he wouldn't have enough money to buy anything with. You're crazy. My partner paid him plenty. Yeah, I'm crazy. Crazy as a fox. It won't do any harm to tell you, because you're not going to live long enough to repeat it. We got old Taylor last night just as he's leaving town. Took all his money away from him and left him for dead. I don't believe you. <laughs> Next, you'll be telling me you shot the deputy instead of young Lane. No. Lane shot him, all right. But he didn't kill him. I guess you did. No. But I know who did. That's mighty interesting. Suppose you tell me about it. You want to hang for it, or would you rather tell me who did it? Oh, Burke did it. Black told him to, to get rid of young Lane. That ought to do it, Sheriff. It'll help. Where is Burke? Over there on the other side of the house. Uh, we'll pick him up, too. your whole future. Uh, follow me. Well, what is it? Uh, you always wanted to buy this place. I'll sell it to you the same price I paid Taylor. That's a bargain, too. Why do you want to sell? Well, I can't run this place for mine, too. And besides, I'm having trouble with my partner. Well, I was interested, but I don't know as I am now. I always wanted to give you first choice, but there's another party that's interested. Who? Oh, I, I, I can't tell you that now. He's either hiding or he's seen us and lit out. 
We'd better head for town fast. We'll travel fast if we leave Dent with the lane, and we can explain things to him. It's a good idea. Hey, what do you keep watching for? Well, that other buyer is liable to be here any minute. He'd be quite hot tired if he found out or sell him to somebody else. All right, but I haven't got all cash. You mind taking some dust? Sure not. That's my business. All right, I'll get it. You wait here. I'll be here. What are you doing with that law shark? Plenty. You hang around. There's going to be some trouble. We'll sure hold him for you. Then we won't lose our ranch. No. no the sheriff's not going to press the charge against Jim. He behaved himself. You can count on that.
that bill of sale is contingent upon the entrance of the old and bare mine being on the head. What does he mean? That don't matter. He's dead. You mean I got this place and the money too? I don't see what else. But I don't want this place. Then you give it to somebody. Shoot is all over. Come on, Wimpet. Listen, the name is Wimp. I've told you that a hundred times. Now quit calling me Wimp, boy. Ah, oh, dry up. <laughs> hey, how would you like to own this place? I wouldn't have it as a gift. <laughs> That's just how you're going to get it. It's yours. <laughs> All right. If it's mine, the first thing I'm going to do is fire the cook. <laughs> Why, well, that's me. <laughs> I told you I'd buy this place and give it away. You win, but you sure did it the hard way. Now, come on, get that money and put it back in our safe. Maybe. 